I don't need no trees. What is up ladies and gentlemen? We are going to be guiding this mass today and I'm going to show you how I do that because if you go to a park you might not have the area to lean this in the tree or you might not have permission to put this into the tree or the trees are too far and the only thing you got is a giant empty field and a bench. So I am going to show you how I'm going to create a guiding system like this one here on the DX Commander. It will work on the DX Commander or work for the POTA 3030 or will work on the POTA 20 or work on any mass that you have. And I am going to show you how I built mine now. So the first thing is this tube is so small and cylindrical that it's going to be hard. You don't want to poke any holes on it and uh, do anything like that to create a mounting system for your guide wires. What I've done here on the DX Commander, I took tube clamps and I clamped it to the side of the mast using a rubber uh, or plastic hose there to um, protect the mast system. And I went ahead and just tied paracord around each one of these. But as you see here, um, paracord can be somewhat annoying sometimes and just coming untied. Um, I got a solution for that. And down at the bottom, I have a way to secure the bottom of the mast. So if the top part here is secured, it doesn't kick out from the wind pushing at the top and it'll just fall over. It has happened a couple of times. However, I figured a way to solve that too. The first thing we're just gonna tackle is the top of the mast. We gotta get this all secure and done right on the um, POTA 3030. So we're gonna start with um, guiding the upper part of the mast. Unfortunately, I went to Lowe's and Home Depot and they do not sell this tubing in foot sections. They sell it by 10 feet sections. I was like, I don't need 10 feet. I don't even need 20 feet. I was, two feet was the longest I was willing to buy. However, I, they weren't there. And I'm tired of waiting and I'm just gonna build it right now with some electrical tape around it just to protect the outer casing. I also went ahead and did the um, bottom end just because I had the uh, tape in hand and I didn't want to um, grab it again and explain what's going on later. So, uh, next, um, I am gonna get the um, two clamp. This is about three quarters inch and I forgot the diameter and it's gonna go right there. Now, instead of using the paracord, I got this wire key ring. This is three inch wire key ring I found on Amazon. Link is in the description below, of course. Um, but this key ring rolls up into a wire loop. Now, I wish it was a little bigger, so next time I might buy, you know, four inches or a five inch just to give myself a bigger loop, but that will be enough for my purposes for today. And I'm gonna get three of them, and I'm gonna put them inside right there before we tighten it down. <laughs> there we go. I don't think that is gonna go anywhere. Plus, since I uh, doubled up or tripled up or quadrupled up on the tape, it's eating into the tape as I'm clamping it in tighter instead of the core of the mast itself. All right, to so just double check, I can move that last sleeve in and out and it's not clamped, clamped or binding. And next at the bottom is a different story. On this DX Commander, I have kind of the same clamp and hose system I did before on the um, top ring. However, I got this tree tie now, it's also wrapped around the hose clamp like a couple times, so it's secured there. You can't pull this out because it tightens on itself. The same thing on the other end. So when uh, this is on the ground, I take a stake, stake it in here, stake it in there, and then the bottom end's not gonna kick out. So that's given the uh, three tie points here for your guidelines, and down here, this is gonna be staked to the ground. This will be really, really secure in a high wind. Well, I wouldn't push it super high winds, but um, gentle winds and normal winds shouldn't push it over. So what we're gonna do here is cut this in half, and then we're gonna burn the end so it doesn't unravel. Then we're gonna secure it to the mast. So this time we're gonna slide it through twice. I just wanna point out on this camera now, um, it's looped through and over and back and under itself here. So the end is on the outside and it's looped through the uh, inside part twice. And then when we pull tight, hold it to make sure it's not gonna fall down. 
because that's how we're going to get it secured in such a way that pulling on it, it actually tightens up the um, rigging. Also, threading it from the bottom here is also important because it's going to pull on the whole assembly from the inside, but the inside's tightened, so it's not going to have enough room to flap around or accidentally get untangled or unwoven. All right, there we go. The top three um, now wires that I'm going to clip into for the guide wires and the bottom two ends that can sit on the ground and you have your stakes. Lovely. To double check again, I am going to pull all this out and find that last element. There it is. And it's up and down smoothly. Ha <laughs> ha! Now, if only I could find a way to secure this. And I don't want to punch a hole in this aluminum. It's going to be hard. I need a punch or a drill to do that. Probably it's going to be the only way to secure the top to the mast, though. I was trying to think of like rubber bands or a clamp or something tight to hold on top that can go to one of these. I haven't figured it out yet. Well, the next part of the system itself is something I already have. I have a uh, rope that has a solid loop on one end, and this is paracord, by the way. And on the other end, it's just an open piece of string. But this is the rope roller system from uh, Roller Cam that it makes it super easy, super easy to guide your wires on the ground. And um, I can do this one handed, and I've done it one handed. I'm going to do it one handed for you here in a bit. But I have these on my tents, I have these in my radio system. I like them so much since I needed some more. I went ahead and got a whole other pack at More Expo. Links in the description below for these. This is an amazing thing. This was my must have POTA gadget for last year and it's probably gonna be a contender again for this year. But um, this is super easy. So if you have this end staked into the ground, you just pull that up, clamp it on there, bam. Unlike the paracord on the DX Commander, now I got these wire loops all I gotta do is clip that in, bam, and I'm ready to go. This is down to the ground. One handed, I can release the wire. The other hand, pull it tight, that's to the ground. Can I loop that to the table? Yeah, there it is. Just pull it tight with one hand. Ha! That's awesome. Look at that, I did a thing, ooh, and it twirls. Um, I think this solves a lot of the issues that I had with the DX Commander with the paracord and the paracord coming undone. It takes the same answer to um, the kick out issue I had. The only thing next is to uh, go to a park. And what better park than a dinosaur park? <laughs> here I am at a uh, state park. I'll tell you what's parked here in a second. But Jesus, man, what a beautiful day. <laughs> I wonder if you can guess what state park I'm at. I am over at Dinosaur Valley State Park in Texas. And we're going to be playing some radio. And look at that monster. Rawr, he's going to eat him. <laughs> Well, this is what I found we're going to be setting up in. There's a lot of trees, but I found a clearing that we're going to set up the antenna here anyways. Get that started. I have to show you how easy this is. I'm going to do it sitting down for the most part. Stuff a stake there, stuff a stake here. Then we're going to get these staked out here and then here. Then my rope, I'm just going to attach it to each of these stakes through the big loop. Now I'm going to show you how simple it is with these roller can system to, uh, guide this up and not have it move for wind or anything. So I just got the clips here. They slide in over each of the wire rings. Perfect. And then you just pull it tight. Oop, a little far on that end. So we release it, go to about vertical, pull it tight again and pull it tight again. Look at it. It's not moving. <laughs> and the, the bottom end can't slip out anymore too. Ha! Love it. I love it. I love these roller cams. They're actually called rope rollers from roller cam. And um, what else can I say? That set up, I'm going to go ahead and throw up the mask, which I'm using an infed antenna and set up over there. <laughs> Still don't know what to do with this. Look at it. Standing all by itself. 30 three feet in the air. Here we go. We're all set up. We got the Yezu FTDX10 running to the antenna. Nothing fancy. There it is. 
since it's an NFET, I went ahead and tuned it up and it's tuned perfectly. However, um, the noise floor is a five. I thought it'd be less than that. It's usually a less than three when I go to state parks. Oh well, we're gonna make some contacts anyways. Seven three, my friend. Just Kilo 90 and keep pop contact. Here, QRZ. Park to park, park to park, Kilo Golf 5, Alpha Hotel Juliet. Okay, uh, the uh, park to park, Kilo Fox, please come again. Kilo Golf 5, Alpha Hotel Juliet. The name's Frank. Okay, Kilowatt Golf 5, Alpha Hotel Juliet. Is this Frank in the Lone Star State, QSL? Roger, Roger. Uh, you got you a good old 5 9. Thank you for the 5 9. Uh, Frank, I have a little, uh, little difficulty. I've got you about a 5 and 4, 5 and 4. The band's kind of dropping on me today right now. Okay, see, uh, no, no problem. Well, I got you in the log book there, Frank. Appreciate you getting there, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Thank you, and have a good day. And Yankee Pop Pop Park's on the air. Q -R -Z. Ha! Got one. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda for Parks on the Air. This is Kilo Golf 5, Alpha Hotel G at Colin CQ. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda. I'm going to 10 meters. And I'm using the cheat button. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was amazing. This, the mass held up fine. The guide wires were amazing. The wire um, loops, no issues there. We'll just see how time tells on that. At the park, I got 51 contacts and I did about 14 different park to park stations and several were twofers. So that was awesome. Y'all have been amazing. Um, if you haven't done it already, go ahead over to my Patreon like and subscribe and uh, support me over there and do all the YouTube things. Um, as always, y'all, go forth and conquer. So the first, <laughs> my hands were way out here trying to do it and then you got the camera in view, but it's done, it's done. We just got to move it back to the plastic and tighten it down. But I've clowned, blah, 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 blah. I sat in sticker burrs. This sucks. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Yep, that, that was one. Right in my hand. <laughs>